Welcome to tonight's broadcast live on Twitch, YouTube, and Periscope. Tonight's topic is pseudo identity. How to create a pseudo identity. It's time to ask your questions about that. Because <clears throat> I know it's a complex topic and many. Good evening, Great Gold. Good evening, everyone. I know it's a complex topic. Many of you have questions about it <clears throat> and have difficulty with something that should be basic to internet privacy, but it, apparently it's not. Hello, Style69. How are you, my friend? Hello, Chill Zone. How are you doing, Kate? Claire Peters, how are you? <clears throat> Every time I see Claire Peters, I feel like uh, making, making this handy. I don't know why. I don't know why. So I don't know why. So I'm going to leave the clubs. <clears throat> Hi from Kentucky, Daryl. Hello from Kentucky. Hello. So hopefully the, the uh, sound isn't too loud. Hopefully it's not too loud. I'm monitoring the volume. You can't get better, better than, my, than mine. You can't get better than mine. Uh, I, why, why can't I get better than yours? I probably can get better than yours. This is just one thing. It's my one toy. I have many toys. Sound is good. Okay. So, uh, yes. So, for those of you who, uh, who can, I really would appreciate it if you watch I don't mind. If, of course, you don't mind, Doctor Matthew Vick. Uh, you're you're called sheep. You don't mind, of course. No, you shouldn't mind. Why do you care? Are you a real doctor? Then that's even worse. <clears throat> are you are you an actual doctor, Doctor Matthew Vick? Are you an actual doctor? Because you don't mind that they watch you. Okay. Uh, that would that would be quite interesting. I would like to, uh, I would like to, uh, you know, especially th this is actually an important topic for doctors, accountants, lawyers, uh, CPAs, uh, government uh, officials, uh, CEOs, you're a pa that's even worse. Okay. Pastors. Okay. Uh, people, people who are, uh, who are uh, known by their actual name in real life and are f well known in real life. Uh, this is actually a good topic for that. You live in Canada. No, G Buzz. Hello, G Buzz. You live in Canada? <clears throat> so that means you got toys in Canada. I don't think they, the, the, uh, I think they allow, uh, uh, they allow like higher velocity airsoft in Canada. You work at a church. When is maiden sailing this year? Uh, don't talk to me about sailing till May. We don't sail till May. Th by the way, th there's a reason for that, uh, Bucky Paul. There's a reason I don't go sailing before May. Guns are pew, pew, pew. <laughs> uh, there's a reason we don't sail till May. If you are familiar with the weather here in L.A., uh, the windiest time of year is in April. And uh, for many years, you know, I've said, I'm macho, I'm going to go race in April. So I... Uh, I go racing in April, and uh, uh, you know, uh, typically in April you're sailing. It seems like a normal day with 15 knots. Then suddenly it starts to go to 40 knots. 40. It goes from fifth. Sometimes it goes from 10 to 40. Suddenly, at sunset, right around the time we go sailing, and uh, and uh, uh, one boat has. Uh, one oh, somebody died one year and several boats have sunk in april because of this so so i almost uh, sunk my boat i had a smaller boat at the time and i almost i almost sunk uh big you know with big eight foot waves and uh and uh the uh <clears throat> and the uh the uh boat uh downwind you know entered into a just uh accidental jibe and then we just you know uh the wind was so strong it just uh, kept the sail in in on the water with the keel with the keel and the uh center the uh, rudder up and and uh it just the wind was pushing it down and uh, and then the water was 
the water was, uh, oh, I don't know, no more than two inches away from getting into the boat. Two inches away. If uh, I was like uh, praising the design of the boat that in eight foot waves, the water didn't get into the boat uh, when it was blowing at 40 knots. So anyway, uh, and we, we were not wearing life jackets. We were not wearing life jackets. Now, there were other boats around us, so it wasn't like, you know, it wasn't, wasn't uh, like scary or anything. We weren't scared, but it was just interesting. And, and, uh, and one of my crew actually jumped on the keel to try to, you know, ride it up like a, like a dinghy. And it was so windy at 40 knots, you know, and we were in first place at the race. We were in first place in the race, and uh, and uh, it was uh, it was crazy. And anyway, we uh, we decided to just. Uh, I found out that the problem was to let the halyard go, so the spinnaker will collapse. And then we did that, and then uh, we managed to right the boat, and then we actually did not finish uh, uh, too far in. I think we were like uh, ended up in fourth place, even with that, with that. With our sail like halfway down, and we actually lost one sail, so, and we still finished okay, uh, even though we were originally in first place. So anyway, that was uh, very very exciting. But that told me that I am not going to sail the boat in April because April is windy. You wreck your boot, you my dust boot. So so I uh, I uh, I have a bigger boat now, so the big boat doesn't. I don't care. The big boat doesn't get react, but it, you know it d does damage the sail when it's that windy. So I don't I don't like going out in April anymore. So so I'm getting too old for that. Too much action. So too much action, people. So I I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm gonna you know keep it cool and not go sailing till May. So <coughs> so in the meantime, I got you guys to keep me company. We're gonna do broadcast. How are you, M V? I J K one. Good to see you, M V I J K one. Hello, D okay, that's chill zone. Okay, so so anyway, uh, that's why we don't go sailing in um, in April. But at some point in time, I will uh, I will uh, broadcast. Uh, uh, do you have Did you have another name before M V V J V J K one? Did you have another name? Uh, in the past <clears throat> that's vj right vj <clears throat> uh vj okay are you the one on uh, youtube or is that somebody else okay so anyway <clears throat> the uh yes you're the one on youtube okay welcome welcome so if any one of you are not subscribed to my youtube account please subscribe because there's many videos on there and uh, uh, half my content is on YouTube, and I'm really trying to, I'm really trying to, uh, to uh, uh, get a whole different, you know, thing going here from Periscope. I, I'm, uh, you know, I've, as you know, I've, as you notice, I haven't been getting big Periscope numbers. I'm telling you to go watch me on YouTube, and I don't really care. It's like uh, becoming unimportant to, to worry about numbers here on Periscope. I'm gonna be on Periscope. Don't worry about it. But it's frustrating because I'm, uh, I'm, uh, you know, <clears throat> uh, I used to get 14,000 people a night on Periscope. And I don't know where those people are now. They're gone. So, and they're, they're not bots or anything. I actually know the many, many of those people. In fact, I know, uh, you know, 7,000 of them are on Brax. So 7,000 of my followers went to Brax and now they're gone from Periscope. I haven't seen them in a while. Hello, twin mom. Hello. So uh, you, I wrecked my, on Lake Superior, you may have heard about it, Edmund Fitzgerald. I wrecked, no, what, who's Edmund Fitzgerald? Is that a name of a boat? So, and what are you doing on Lake Superior, Doug? <clears throat> That's not your area. You're like, uh, it's too far from you. Or did you drive there? What, the, what, what happened? That's kind of far from you. So, Anyway, our our subject matter tonight is and uh, Vijay Vijay is here from uh, from YouTube asking this question, and I want to make sure that we uh, we uh, truly discuss this because it's it's such a complex issue and and I have been extremely lucky because I thought about this so long ago. I'm going to repeat the story I told you last night. 
I'm going to repeat the stories I told you last night about my own experience on the internet and since the beginning of time, the wreck of Edmund Fitzgerald. I don't know the wreck of Edmund Fitzgerald since I don't sail on Lake Superior. So not familiar with that. Anyway, anyway, uh, last night I told you about the fact that I'm actually more active on social media than you can ever imagine. Uh, a lot of you actually think, not social media, but on the internet. A lot of you actually think that I'm like some newbie on the internet, that I just showed up on the internet, you know, when I started Periscope four years ago. And, uh, and you probably had no conception of where I was. Actually, I, I'm going to tell you the truth here. Back in 2007, I was the one pushing people I know to go to Zuckbook, if you can believe that. In 2007, I was telling people, I was putting organizations in Zuckbook, I was putting a lot of things in Zuckbook, and, and, uh, and I actually, uh, don't suck me, bro. So I, I was actually encouraging people uh, who were you know, afraid of tech, say, hey, you know, it's really good if we all get together and do our organizations in Zuckbook since it's easier to get, to, to get access to people. And, and I was one of those people in 2007 who was pushing that, if you can believe it, yes. And now I'm like, Zuck you, Zuck. Okay, technically you did see the beginning of time because you're old enough to be there at the start of the internet. Uh, I was programming at the start of the internet, Red. So, so yes, I, I'm, I've been, I'm, of course, I'm around. I've been around because, you know, I was doing programming at the start of the internet. <clears throat> and, uh, and anyway, uh, what, what, was, what was interesting, what was interesting is... Uh, is that I, because I programmed at the start of the internet, I actually knew some of the difficulties that the internet has. For example, even back in the day, there were hackers and there were, there were people trying to break into computers even as early as the, the, the early 90s when the internet first started. Y you, could, you, uh, you would uh, connect a c brand new computer to the internet and, and within, within seconds, it would get hacked because there was no protection back then. There were so many bugs on Windows and so many bugs on uh, on everything that you put on the internet that within seconds, within seconds of connecting your computer to the internet, uh, a uh, and there were not that many computers, so th they were easily found. So within seconds of putting your connection on the internet, you would you would get the the server uh, hacked already. Okay, it was very very frustrating, very very frustrating. That's uh, that's that's why I'm such an expert now. Because I had to fight that in the early days. You know, you have to fight that. You say, okay, I'm going to put all these little things in here before I connect to the internet. Okay, before I connected to the internet. IRC channels to get IPs were a gold mine. <laughs> it, uh, you don't have to, to, to go get IPs. I mean, you can just uh, crawl for it. <clears throat> there were many, many crawl, crawlers that crawl for IP addresses. And, and, uh, uh, not crawl, but uh, uh, what do you call this? You know, sniff, sniffed out ports. You know, you you do a do a um, um, port. Uh, anyway, you know what I mean. My dad programmed the seventies. I learned in the nineties. Chick Threads, Alaska's a programmer. Zach, what what language were you programming, Chick? So so uh, while I wait for your answer. So back in the uh, back in the day, uh, uh, in you know in the uh, in the nineties, I would set up uh, you know mail servers. I would set up mail servers, and uh, the very very first mail servers that you could set up there, I could forget the name now, uh, so long ago. And uh, of course, everything was ASCII. You can read all the text and all that, and and everyone knew what the protocol was: SMTP, POP3, and you can see the traffic on the internet. Y and back then there was. Uh, there was a uh, program called Ether, uh, Ether something. What was the name back then? Ether. Uh, anyway, that product that was called Ether, whatever that I was using back then in the '90s, is now called Wireshark. So that that was you know. So we were using that Ether thing, uh, you know, back in the day. And uh, then that uh, get got reconfigured to be. Uh, thank you, Anthony. Thank you. Uh, and then then became Wireshark. But 
anyway, back then we were sniffing the network and checking out because that's how you find out if, you know, they're hackers and such. And, and there was no HTTPS back then. So everything was wide open. You could watch all the traffic all day. So, so you can watch email, can watch traffic. Uh, d do you have high intellect? What does that mean, high intellect? <laughs> I don't, you, do you mean IQ? No, I don't have a high IQ. Do you remember the Swen virus in news groups? I didn't go to news groups, but uh, Ethereal, Chunga Chunga, Chunga Changa, Ethereal, there you go. So I was using Ethereal before it became uh, Wireshark. So you can actually see all the traffic on the internet. Because of this, I knew, why would I put something on email that I knew somebody was going to read? So wh why, uh, why, why would, yes, I speak other languages, Anthony. What, why would you... Uh, uh, hola, Anthony, hola, como estas? So, so uh, why would you uh, post something on email when you know something, one can read it? So I don't know what happened. Uh, somehow Hillary, Hillary, uh, you know, uh, lost the, the memo because we were reading email in the 90s when Hillary was, you know, uh, starting all this stuff with the uh, health records. Did you know that when, when Hillary was, uh, you know, was uh, with Bill Clinton in the White House, they the uh, they passed the uh, HIPAA HIPAA uh, the HIPAA law, H I P A A, which is the Health Information uh, Portability and Privacy, was it Pro uh, Pro Portability and Accountability Act? Okay, hello, Cheap Fame. How are you doing, Cheap Fame? So the HIPAA was was put in around the same time as Clinton did, and back then it was put in place with this specific rule. This was in the nineties. This is in the nineties. Uh, I actually learned Fortran. I used learned Fortran. Uh, that was my first job. Was in Fortran. I did uh, 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 simulation Monte Carlo simulation modeling using Fortran. It was my first thing. You're not following me. That's, let's fix that right now. That is just not right, cheap fame. That is just not right. We will fix there. Fixed. Of course, I'll follow you. <clears throat> so, so uh, thank thank you for reminding me. So, so, so back in the day, so back in the day, uh, we, we knew that, uh, you're, you're, you know, you could see all the traffic on the internet. There was no HTTPS. So you had to be like conscious of what you put on your email because it's, you know, everyone, for example, let's say you were in a company, you, you were, uh, you were in a company, uh, running the IT department. And I, I set up my own email for, for my own company, but uh, you know, theoretically in a bigger company, there would be an IT department and they can read all of your emails. So I don't know, uh, did Hillary miss the memo when uh, they said that on the HIPAA rules that email is not allowed for medical records? Email, email, no, don't go to Twitch, go over to, to YouTube. Email's not allowed for electronic medical records. This was during the time of Clinton. This was uh, one of the first rules in HIPAA. No medical records over emails because emails were not safe. And then the answer, the answer today, the answer today is, uh, uh, you know, Hillary said, well, I'm going to, I don't believe what, th those HIPAA rules that we put in, that Bill Clinton put in there, I'm not going to pay attention to that. Bill Clinton put that in. You know, uh, who cares about him? He just wants to hang out with uh, Monica Lewinsky. So we're not, I'm not going to forget that. I'm going to use email. So Hillary used email. Anyway, <laughs> we're not talking about email today. We're talking about privacy on the Internet and how, why you really need to care about your identity because everything that goes through the Internet is being, uh, is, is being tracked, recorded. And uh, some people say, well, I don't really care. I don't really care that somebody uh, tracks me and all that. Well, don't be an idiot. Uh, uh, don't be an idiot because you know the people who, are, who get tracked don't realize that you are affecting the rest of us who don't want to be tracked it, it, it's not just you you affect all of us and that's uh, it's in my video nothing to hide you are actually you're actually the the uh, worst doctor Matthew Vicks are you still here dr. Matthew Vicks the people have nothing to hide People have nothing to hide are actually the, the entry point for doxing. They are the entry point to dox the rest of us who want to hide. Okay? So, you know, they're the ones who import all the contact lists on the internet 
so that the rest of us are all connected. They're the source of all our loss of internet privacy. The people who say, I got nothing to zucking hide. So you zuck us all up. Okay, all of you that use your real names, you, you zuck us all up. You're actually the crazy people. The rest of us are trying to just to live, live a quiet life uh, away from, uh, well, away from the attention of, uh, you know, bad people and you, you want us to be seen. Th this is an example of, uh, this isn't, thank you, thank you, uh, Rich, it's me. Uh, I, Reda, I told you, Reda, I've told you many times, change your zucking name on the internet. But no, no, <clears throat> not gonna do that. <clears throat> change your zucking name on the internet, get a VPN. No, we don't do that, we wanna be open. Okay, you can be open. So, <clears throat> that's part of my frustration here. Change your name on the internet. Don't put your last name on there. And, uh, and, uh, and get a VPN. Uh, Pequok, no. Uh, crack Windows file sharing for the longest time. Uh, goodness, I mean, who's going to remember all that? It, it, no, Reda, because you have to, well, your ego may not allow you to start fresh. So, so I don't know. If you get too famous, you, you don't want to give up an identity that's too famous. But uh, uh, it, it is something that you should consider. I'm going to give you a little bit of my history again so you, you understand where I come from. Back in the, uh, back in the you know, uh, a long time ago, I'm not going to say exactly when, but obviously the, during the time of the Internet, uh, I've been on the Internet since the beginning. I was on a lot of websites, a lot of, uh, you know, forums. Uh, on various topics. Uh, I was very, very busy. I type a lot on the internet. And uh, I, I was out there expressing my views on so many topics that, you know, you can't even imagine how many. And uh, I wrote enough to write many books. I wrote enough to be popular enough to have uh, the equivalent of many books. And I put it out there on the internet. Uh, some of them, in fact, some of the stuff I I posted on the internet actually showed up on the LA Times so so because I wrote some articles and I posted on a website and then it got on it was uh, uh, it got on the LA Times so it was published by the LA Times so that happened a few times and then various you know smaller publications around around uh, California but uh, uh, LA Times was uh, was one as well and many 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 little little uh, other publications so what I've learned over the days, the, the, the years, is that when I go out on the internet, I always used an alternate identity. I don't know. I was always aware of this. I always aware. So I have never, I have never, uh, I have never uh, uh, forgotten the issue of always keep your identity safe. And people taunt us all the time. People taunt us all the time and say, if you believe in what you say, let's say you're talking politics or something. Uh, if you believe in what you say, then why don't you tell us your name? Why, why are you hiding? Are you a troll? Why are you hiding your name? And that the, these people would taunt you, and then I, you know, and then the, these people will, that would taunt, I would just laugh at myself and say, "Hmm, let me check you out." Then I would, you know, knew exactly who they were, and their background, and what they looked like, and what kind of car they drive, and so on. It's like, you sucking idiot! I'm not gonna be like you. I'm not going to, I'm doing that right now. I, I'm not going to be like you. I'm not going to be like you. I'm not going to go, uh, you know, go taunt people and say, use your real name. And, uh, you know, because uh, I think it's stupid. I thought it was stupid then. I think it's stupid now. Those people who, who did that uh, thought it was a matter of pride that they stuck up with their name because they did not have the foresight. They did not, um, uh, the algorithm will be low. People don't, won't know. Tell us, what, how, what did you observe from looking them up? Uh, nothing, Kelp. Was there any pattern? Uh, no, there's no specific pattern. I didn't publicize what I learned. I just, you know, uh, I would just be, it would be interesting, for example, to see who the, uh, 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 you know, well, you can kind of tell from the way they talked if they were successful financially or not. There. You can tell if they were successful financially or not successful. You can tell if they were kind of losers and they just had a big mouth or if they were actually 
very good and if i change it do i change my first name too uh no no red it uh it it, it depends on how how uh, you know how unusual it is there was somebody that's uh there was somebody on twitter somebody that uh, i follow and that follows me that had a name uh i think it was richie blue spelled b l e u and he said, wow, I have never found, I found somebody with the same name, he said today on Twitter. I found somebody, somebody uh, uh, with the same name. And I thought that my name was so unique. And he was so proud of that, that, hey, my name is Richie Blue. And I'm, uh, and I'm, uh, I'm, I have a unique name. And I said to myself, you are zocked. <laughs> I didn't make a comment on his Twitter, but I was going to make a comment, say, you're proud of that, that you have a unique name? I do have a unique name, and my name is Rob Braxman. There's no other Rob Braxman in the world. So, so that I know, which is awesome. There's no other Rob Braxman in the world, okay? So, uh, so uh, I love that. I love that, because then all of everything I do is being funneled into, uh, funneled into, uh, uh, fortunately, Reda, you can actually delete posts with your real name on Twitter. You can go back and look at any post that ever had your real name and delete it. You can do that on Twitter. Uh, you can't do that on any other platform, but you can do it on Twitter. I heard plain text passwords are the new trend. Yes, on Facebook, if you want to get zucked. So, so uh, 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 why am I okay with having Rob Braxton being the only name out there on the internet? Because... Obviously, Rob Braxman is not my real name. <clears throat> if that's not apparent, I don't know. I don't know what is. Okay, so so Rob Braxman is not my real name. It sounds like Ron Waxman. Rob Braxman, Ron Waxman. But I am Rob the Braxman. That is true. I am Rob the Braxman since I run Brax. So because I run Brax, I'm the Braxman. So Rob Braxman. That's where that came from, okay? So, so uh, uh, yes, that's my identity, and uh, I, uh, you know, I uh, am. am uh, I had many other identities in the past, but I'm I'm focusing on this identity. His name is uh, is Bob Bra Bob Bob Braxman. So, so I'm uh, Rob. You can delete, but the Wayback Machine saves all forever. That's correct, Jen Jen Morgan. That's correct, but no one will know to search there. Oh, what a surprise! So, so anyway, uh, it's it. Uh, you know, at the beginning, I just called myself Rob Music, but I had to spread out, and there's so many Rob Music, so it was very difficult to to be unique, because there's uh, some call you Mister Gnome. Yes, uh, uh, there were so many. Rob music's everywhere. So is it a challenge? Is you can want us to solve your name? No, I don't want you to solve my name, Kelp, because if you solve my name, you'll just be a target of mine. Okay, so it's not my intent for anyone to discuss my name. Some of you know my name, and uh, and it's uh, uh, you know it it would be considered doxing to reveal my name. Okay. So it would be considered doxing to reveal my name, and if you do, then I'll have to report you for doxing. Okay, how can I buy one of your books? Uh, don't need to buy one of my books. I don't make money from one of my books, so you don't need to know my name to buy the book. Yes, I, uh, I, uh, uh, I published the book. Uh, uh, I was, well, I wasn't the main author. I was the, uh, I was the contributing author to, to uh, a, uh, a textbook, business book. You don't make money here. How do you know that? So, so uh, uh, I've always been concerned about safety on the internet, and I know I've seen people get docs here and how I've seen how dangerous it is. Uh, I'll give you an example here. Anybody know uh, uh, Simon? Simon, what's his name again? Joe Simon. <coughs> Remember Joe Simon? Remember Joe Simon on Periscope? So Joe Simon and Periscope was a uh, constant victim of, uh, of uh, so much doxing. He was such a victim of so much doxing because people say, you're such a scammer, you're trying to, trying to you know, 
make money from uh, from uh, seniors trying to take your money in their money from your your uh, constant you know request for money on on this broadcast he just came back to oh I didn't want to talk about him I, I was talking about him because he was not here is he back he, he sings he sings he plays piano and sings but anyway, uh, he was constantly doxxed and, uh, you know, and because his name was kind of, you know, it was pretty easy to get his name. So his real name is partly Joe Simon, but that's not, it, that wasn't his real name, but his address was obvious. So he, uh, he, uh, he was, he was dumb enough on social media because he had nothing to hide like some of you. Where's Dr. Matthew Vick? He was dumb enough that he didn't, you know, he didn't feel like he had to hide things. So his old name, his n real name and non-real name were combined on the internet. If you search it, you'll find his address with his non-real name. And then you will find his address with his real name. And then you can match them both and say, oh yeah, that's his real name. I mean, come on. Okay, and there are many ways of matching this. I'm going to tell you that this is why this is kind of important. Okay, and... and uh, uh, so if you understand the doxing problem and, and why uh, doxing is one of the things that, uh, that really affect us negatively uh, on, the, uh, on the Internet, that's, this is why having a real name is really, really a, big, a really big negative. So let me, let me, uh, let me uh, give you an example of a question. Is Vijay, is Vijay still here? So Vijay has... Uh, Told, asked me a question on, on YouTube. He said, you know, I, uh, because of business, I have to, you know, I have to be well known on the world stage, uh, you know, because he has to have a LinkedIn account. So, so Vijay is an example of many, many people who are professionals and they uh, want to be known with their resume out in the open on, on, uh, on uh, LinkedIn. So you have a LinkedIn thing with your all of your your uh, stuff on there, and uh, and if you don't think about it, okay, I you say, well, I guess I got to have a presence on LinkedIn. So you put your real name and all that, and then you leave it. Then you go on Periscope. You go on Periscope, and you're saying, well, what do I do in Periscope? It's a new social media, and most of you don't think about it. So you say, okay, I'm going to use the same name, or maybe part of the name, uh, or use my that my same picture because that's all the pictures I have and then I will use my maybe part of a name so instead of just putting my full name in there I'm going to put uh, just my first name okay so they do that on Periscope and this is the problem when you 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 connect an old uh, ident I LinkedIn identity or a Facebook identity in other words a real person identity with a social media identity you can't separate the two so can you imagine, I'm, I'm going to give you some, hello, Raylene, how are you doing? Good to see you here. <laughs> uh, I, I'm not playing piano right now, but uh, 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 hacking is illegal, yes. So anyway, uh, good to see you guys. You can follow Raylene. She's a, she's a musician and singer, and I saw her play piano. She's pretty awesome. She can blow me away with piano, so... So, uh, yeah, I bet you I can play better jazz, though. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I'm better at jazz, really, but uh, as, as far as uh, just uh, straight piano chops, you're, you're better. And you can sing. I can't. I can't sing. So anyway, back to, uh, back to, uh, back to the uh, story of connecting social media. So you're on LinkedIn, and then you start an account on Periscope. And you don't think about this too much. So you put your LinkedIn identity. And then you get into Periscope and Twitter and you start talking politics. It could be a casual statement. You may be not an extreme politics kind of guy. You, you just mention a couple of words and you kind of say, well, I'm MAGA. Let's say that's all you say. I'm MAGA. But then you have your public persona on LinkedIn. And now you're saying you're MAGA. So now they've collected the fact that whatever you post on LinkedIn is just is your general work thing, but now it's connected to the fact what your political beliefs are. 
Now, to some of you, this is not important, or you think it's not important, or I'm going to tell you, uh, I'm going to tell you something, uh, something very, very specific. I'm going to tell you something very specific. One of you guys that, that, that watch me here uh, was looking for a job as uh, at the vice president level in uh, at, with uh, investment banks in uh, in New York, and uh, and uh, and this this guy was always very very political on uh, on uh, on Facebook with this real name on there, extremely political. I'm I'm talking extreme extremely political and making com constant nasty comments uh uh you know against the opposite side very nasty comments against the opposite side he was not a i would not consider my moderate he's definitely far 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 on the on his side and he would attack people constantly on uh, on uh, on facebook and then he was looking for a job so you could look at his linkedin account you can use his facebook and and he's wide open. You can see his Facebook. And uh, yes, he is seeking a VP position. And then he uh, he couldn't get a job. And he had you know he had advanced degrees. He he had uh, advanced degrees uh, educationally and pa past positions as vice president. And he's wondering why he couldn't get a job. And I'm I'm thinking to myself, if I'm going to hire this guy and he's not. Uh, moderate at all in his political beliefs is obviously very extreme on one side uh, would that be a negative in some jobs that uh, you know like investment banking uh, yes guaranteed guaranteed because it's the same as saying I'm a doctor and I'm you know on the far left or the far right because you're dealing with customers and patients on both sides. So you don't need to communicate what your extreme position is. If you're moderate, that's one thing, but if you're communicating an extreme position and you're out on the internet and you're trying to get business in a general way, people will be turned off uh, if you have an extreme position. Okay? So, so uh, uh, it's, it's, it affects employment because anybody who looks at the job for you will search your internet activity. Uh, even if you cross the border, they'll sell, search your internet activity. Even if you apply for a visa, they'll search your internet activity. Everything you do now, they'll search your internet activity. This is now part of life. So when you say, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't see the difference. Uh, uh, doxing is not illegal, Donnie Murdoch. Where did you get that? Doxing is not illegal. Doxing is not illegal. That's why people can do it. I mean, you can't go take them to jail for it. Okay. So that this is the problem, guys. Is when you when you go out on the internet with your real name and you just don't say you don't know how to draw a line and say can you make a different identity. So just so you can speak more freely, just so you can speak. If you want to talk, you know, politics, wouldn't it be nice to be able to say things and it not have it connect to your to your uh, job as a real estate agent, because you don't want to turn off a potential buyer of real estate just because they see that you're uh, you're uh, you know. You're an extremist, uh, extreme socialist. Okay, uh, do they really? Do you really want them to see that? And then you you get that. How about uh, even religion? Uh, you know, do, do you? Uh, you know, some of you are proud of your religion. Some of you are conscious of the fact that you know some people may look at you negatively because of your religion. And do you really want them to know any of that? Uh, some of you will assume that it's obvious from the name. Well, okay, Rob Braxman, I'm Jewish. Okay, <clears throat> so I I I um, I hang out with a lot of I hang out with my Jewish friends and I uh, and I tell them my name. What's your name again? I said Rob Braxman. What Rob Braxton? Said I'm sucking Jewish. Rob Braxman. Oh, Rob Braxman. And then it, you know, <laughs> I have to say it with a Yiddish accent. Then they they get oh I get it now. Uh, I get it now. I'm Rob the Brax man. That's that's me, Rob the Brax man. But I, you know, I turn to Jewish. I was Rob Braxman, Rob Braxman. <clears throat> okay, uh, doxing is not illegal. Uh, doxing is not illegal by itself, uh, unless the, you do other things when when it comes to uh, the data that you uh, you got. Uh, doxing means you go on the internet and search for something, and you make it public. So uh, 
state, you know, government officials are doxed constantly. What are you talking about? So no, doxing is not illegal. It's in one of my videos. Hacking is illegal. Hacking is illegal. Doxing is not illegal. No, doxing is not illegal. That is not true. Hacking is illegal. Somebody said, somebody who is a lawyer said that some cases of doxing may be illegal if you use it in a way that causes damage to the person. There's a consequence to it. Uh, yeah, the doxing itself isn't the uh, illegal part. The doxing of, uh, there we go, kelp, acts associated with doxing may be illegal. That I can't speak to because you have to give a specific example. Uh, doxing is unethical? Of course it is. But you are, uh, you know, it's like saying swearing is unethical. Exactly like Antifa and anonymous thugs. For example, uh, you, uh, you know, you say something, uh, if you swear at somebody, well, that may not be nice, but it's not illegal. You're not going to go to jail for swearing. Same with doxing. You're not going to go to jail for, for doxing. Um, doxing is, uh, is a very evil thing that we, you know, it's, it's one of the biggest fears that I have is that doxing turns into, into a, an actual event where somebody knocks at my door and then tries to intimidate me, intimidate me uh, face to face. And that's one of the uh, scary things about doxing, if that happens. Uh, unless you swear to cop. <laughs> Is that illegal to swear to cop? People's behavior online may breach workplace policies. Uh, that's happened. Raylene, there was uh, somebody, I remember, uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, she was a very popular in Periscope. She was an Asian, Asian scoper with a radio station. What, why am I uh, getting, a, she was Chinese. Uh, New York, Hawaii, maybe some of you remember. Anyway, she, uh, she uh, uh, said something about work on, uh, on Periscope, and then she got fired. Uh, doxing violates the terms of service. Yes, that's correct. Uh, doxing violates the terms of service of, for example, Patreon. Yes, doxing uh, uh, violates the terms of service. It do, it's not legal, though. You're not going to go to jail for it. No, not dining happy. That's different from illegal. Yes. How Simon got fired also. Yeah. So, so uh, what you say on the internet can get you fired. Yes. That's why keep two identities separate. Keep the two identities separate. A lot of people lost their jobs because of people on this app. Yes. That is correct. So, uh, so. It's very difficult for me because it's video and I'm showing my face. Uh, the fortunate thing is I have never shown my face in any other social media uh, other than Facebook, which I don't have anymore, in the past. I have not shown it anywhere in the past other than on Twitter and, and Periscope. So, so my face is not attached to a real name in the entire internet, if you can believe that. And... Uh, and so then I said, okay, maybe it's good to, uh, to associate this face with my name now. And, uh, and I told you how to even make that legal. Do you, how do you think we find out about these soldiers that made nasty comments on Facebook? Uh, Kelp, uh, anyway, I forget what I'm saying, Kelp. Now you, you got me all confused here. Um, I forget what I was saying. What about YouTube? Uh, doxing on YouTube? Um, uh, it may be against policies of YouTube too. I, I'm not sure. Not sure, but it's happened many, many times. And I can tell you right now, many people have done doxing here on uh, YouTube and they're still here. I mean, on Periscope. Not YouTube, on Periscope. Many people have doxed on Periscope, they're still here. Anyway, to me, uh, let me just tell you a story with one, one of the broadcasters who are still here. The doxing was so bad. The doxing was so bad that somebody actually put an ad out on, uh, and Claire Peters knows this. Uh, doxing was so bad. Some of you know this. Maybe Great Gold does. Uh, doxing was so bad that, uh, that uh, this person's real name was put on Craigslist with his phone number and address and actually, uh, you know, note, noted on Craigslist that uh, this person was looking for 